The Apple Watch Series 3 is the cheapest watch that Apple sells new on their website in 2022. Is it worth the 199 US dollar price tag? Let's find out. The Series 3 Apple Watch was released on September 22nd, 2017. That means this watch is rocking nearly 5 year old hardware. Furthermore, it is equipped with the S3 chip, which is noticeably slower than anything else Apple currently offers. That being said, it still runs Watch OS 8 pretty smoothly, and it's not a bad experience by any stretch of the imagination. Nevertheless, it is only equipped with 8GB of storage, which has led to issues with downloading apps, music, and even updates onto the watch for some users. This is certainly something to consider when you can buy the 2020 Apple Watch SE for as low as $250 in some stores or for $279 on Apple's website. This is going to be a much better bang for your buck in my opinion. Like most other Apple products, the outer appearance of the Series 3 still looks very nice in 2022. However, it looks very outdated next to the Series 4 and beyond when you compare the shape and size of the screens. In fact, the Series 3 still uses the same general exterior design as the original Apple Watch, which was introduced on September 9, 2014. So we are essentially looking at a nearly 8-year-old design here when you think about it. It is also worth noting that the Series 3 is offered in 38 and 42 mm case sizes compared to the 40 and 44 mm case sizes found on the Series 4, 5, 6, and SE and the 41 and 45 mm case sizes found on the Series 7. The software and features are also somewhat limited here compared to newer models. Some of the features you will be missing out on with the Series 3 include cellular connectivity, fast charging, always on display, the blood oxygen app, the ECG app, international emergency calling, fall detection, a compass, always on altimeter, noise monitoring, and support for family setup. Moreover, you won't have access to many of the newer watch faces found on the Series 4 and newer. The Series 3 is also unlikely to receive the next version of watchOS, making it completely obsolete compared to newer available models. My general recommendation here would be to avoid the Series 3 at this point and opt for something newer, like the SE or Series 7. If you are willing to wait, it sounds like two or three new models will be released here within the next couple of months. If you are open to the used and refurbished market, the Series 4, 5, and 6 are all great watches that offer more software and hardware advantages, which the Series 3 is lacking. I personally use the Series 5 as my daily driver. It is a really great watch and I have no major complaints. Let me know your thoughts about the Series 3 in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.